All right, my friends, you just listened to the story, Paula the Vet. Veterinarians are people that, or doctors, that take care of all kinds of animals. Some veterinarians take care of animals such as cattle, horses, pigs, those kinds of animals that are on um, ranches or on farms. They take care of those really big animals. Then there are the veterinarians that we usually see around and they take care of small animals such as the pets that we have in our home. Um, and they usually work in clinics or in animal hospitals. And those veterinarians that work in um, with small animals usually think, do things like set their bones, um, maybe give their shots to keep them healthy. Um, maybe give little surgeries or operations and things like that. And they usually do it right in their animal hospital or in their animal clinic. So my question to you is in the story that we just read, Paula the vet, what kind of vet was she? Did she take care of the big farm animals or did she take care of little animals, mostly pets? Very good. She take she would take care of the pets, right? She would come and it would be Paula the vet, and she'd call out who's next, and each of the kids would bring in their little animals, right? Boy, did she get a big shock at the end. What did she say at one point? She said, "Oh, it's kind of boring. She just keeps seeing all the same little small animals. Not that she doesn't love taking care of them." What big surprise did she get at the end? What did somebody bring? A dinosaur. Do you think she was pretty shocked? I thought that was a pretty good surprise ending myself, I have to say. I thought that was a pretty good surprise ending. Um, interestingly enough, Patrick's good friend has um, his parents are vets, and one is that kind of vet that takes care of large animals, horses, cows, farm animals, um, a large animal veterinarian. And his mother, Patrick's friend's mother, is a small pet. Um, veterinarian. So she has her animal clinic right there and then her husband goes out to the farms and the ranches and things like that to help take care of the large animals. So they get to see both kinds of animals in their um, in their practice. So I think that that's pretty cool. So veterinarians are very special people. Um, just like for moms and dads, the pediatricians take care of you veterinarians take care of the pets in the family and so it's um you know it's a very important job to have and they make sure they take care of all kinds of animals and help them and, and to keep them healthy and things like that so what i would like to do is since we know what doctors do what your doctor does when you go to visit them each year for your visit, what I would like you to do is think today about how a veterinarian is different from a people doctor. So there are a lot of things that are very similar about them. They take care of people, they um, give medicine if people are sick, they fix broken bones. Um, doctors do that too. Um, they have medical offices where you go to see them. They might wear the same kind of coats and things like that. So there are a lot of things, if you think back to the last time you went to the doctor, that would be the same about um, going to a veterinarian. And think back to the story, what Paula the vet, what her office looked like and some of the things that she was doing in the office. So think back to that story. And if you need to go back through that story, listen to it again. What I would like you to do is in your copy books, we're going to look at what's the same and what's different about the doctors. Now my calendar's right behind here because I was using it. All right. So we're going to write Four dash twenty three dash two zero two zero. And then on this side, we're going to write same S A M E. And we're going to draw a line down the middle like we have before. And on this side, we're going to write different D I F. F E R E N T. 
And what I would like you to do on this side is think about Paula the vet and how is she like your doctor that you go to? How is she like that doctor? What is something that she does or that she wears or that she uses? How is she like your doctor? And then on this side where it says different, I want you to think about how Paula the vet is different from your doctor. What is something she does or uses or takes care of? Something that is different. So on this side, the same side, you're thinking of how Paula the vet is the same as your doctor that takes care of you. And on this side, you're gonna think about and show me something how she is different than the doctor that takes care of you, okay? And I'm looking forward to seeing them on Flipgrid. All right, great job, friends. Bye-bye.